healthcare is a constantly evolving and organic regulated industry. So private equity investors should be aware of many of the current and coming enforcement trends. Uh, two years ago, private equity investors sat on the sidelines for several reasons. One, because they were wary of the markets. Two, because they were wary of where the implementation of the ACA was going. In addition, the continuing court challenges to the ACA, including the recent lawsuit brought against the President for his implementation of the ACA, leave private equity investors unsure of where things are going. For example, fraud and abuse will be subject to greater and greater scrutiny. It's been around for a very long time, but the government is trying to claw back funds that it has allowed out through the federal programs to these um, hospital systems in particular, but also to the managed care companies that participate in government programs. In addition, uh, the reimbursement rules are tightening. Uh, you've heard a lot, perhaps, about the two midnight rule. Um, the two midnight rule is, is an example of how CMS is trying to regulate the flow of patients uh, into the system so that they're not being um, kept within very expensive providers for too long. And uh, generally, because of the size of healthcare in the, in the gross domestic product, we're going to be seeing more and more enforcement because, quite frankly, there's a lot of low-hanging fruit. The solutions for these challenges are continuing pressure on regulators coming almost primarily from the financial services industry to open these markets up. After all, health care is the largest percentage of GDP in, in uh, public spending, second only to defense. So, Healthcare is an enormous industry, and there's enormous attraction to be in that industry and to be a dominant player, and there's a great deal of money to be made. But there is a culture, and a correct culture, of nonprofit medicine, which is inhibiting private equity investment. And it's both on the payer and the provider side, but less so on the payer side. Many nonprofit payers have converted to for-profit entities have been acquired by large national payers. Uh, that is less common on the hospital side where you have academic medical centers that have medical schools and established nonprofit reputations.